Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about Foundation Season 2 Episode 8. The shocking twist that will shape the future of the galaxy. This episode was full of surprises, betrayals and revelations that will have a huge impact on the rest of the season and beyond. So, let's get into it. But before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. The episode begins with Brother Dusk being interrogated by Rue, a member of the Cloud Dominion, who wants to know more about Demerzel, the mysterious robot who has been serving the Empire for centuries. Dusk seems to have some memory issues and repeats the same phrase over and over. She will be here, as she always has been. Rue suggests using the Dominion's technology to restore his lost memories. Meanwhile, on Agnes, Gaul and Salver are held captive by Telem, who reveals that she killed Hari Seldon and that she has a sinister plan for Gaul. She wants to transfer her mind into Gaul's body and use her psychic powers to control the galaxy. She puts Gaul in a cell where she is tortured by devices that suppress her abilities and make her vulnerable. Salver tries to escape her cell and finds a way to access the Prime Radiant, the device that contains Hari Seldon's predictions and instructions for the Foundation. She teleports to the vault, where she meets another version of Hari Seldon, who tells her that he is a copy of the original and that he is working on creating a second foundation. He helps her remove the sensors that keep her trapped on Agnes and tells her about Hober Mallow, a potential ally for their cause. On Trantor, Brother Day prepares to execute Constant and Poli Verisov, the leaders of the Anacreon Rebellion, in front of the whole galaxy. However, his plan is interrupted by Hober Mallow, who arrives with his ship and rescues Constant. He also releases Becky, a genetically modified assassin who stabs Day in the neck, proving that he is not invincible. Polly is left behind and captured by Day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.